Hi, welcome to Jess FM. This is Deb from Deb's Den. I'm here with Cynthia Salomons today. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, great. Hi, Hi, nice to have you in again today. And today we are talking about spiritual healing. There's some uh, course coming up next week with a, an amazing uh, lady from Calgary who's coming down. Um, and she's going to be teaching a course on ASHA Healing, which is Alberta Spiritual Healing Association. And with this course, there is a certificate available. The course is only $150, but requires about a year's worth of work. And we're just um, getting ready for that now. So uh, we, we thought we would start by talking a little bit about um, what it is, uh, the belief system of the spiritualist, right? Is that what we're going to start spiritualism, with? Spiritualism, yes. Spiritualism. But can you um, introduce yourself, please, yeah. Cynthia? And tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do. I know you're a fantastic healer as well. Thank you, Deb. Yes, Thanks. I'm Cynthia Solomons, and I am the administrative assistant for the Lethbridge Spiritualist Center here in Lethbridge. Um, I also do healing and mediumship out of my home. Mm -hmm. And so there's a wide variety of healing modalities that I do. Uh, recently, well, last February actually, mm -hmm. Deb and I took the ASHA program. So what that is, it's, um, it's the Association for Spiritual Healers of Alberta, ASHA. And um, yeah, so we will be doing the uh, finalizing that program in a, an exam next Friday and Saturday, but that workshop is coming up for availability for people to take again for the next round for so the next last year's january session is now coming to end as we take our finals on february 1st well mildly well, february 1st mm -hmm. <laughs> yes that's right mm -hmm. so after a year of studying with this course and, and you know being healers for probably some time now you how long when did you start doing healing um, 2012, I started. 2012, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the big shift, not a surprise, but <laughs> I've been doing healings for, for most of my life, and um, I really want to share this with, with people today because I find that the ASHA Healing, Alberta Spiritual Healing Association, um, is recognized in hospitals, and just learning um, this process has been extremely beneficial to me and my clients. And I just want to, to share that with people and let you know, if you are a, a healer, I think it is good that you have some sort of background in healing to, um, to take the, whole, the course. Yes, but it's not necessary. No, yeah. because it would be an amazing weekend if you've never been introduced to it and you took that course. It's, it's yeah, healing yeah. after healing um, for three days. It's um, it's incredible um, source of energy. You know, we use God uh, for energy and it's, when you learn about the the benefits of being positive, it's amazing. Yeah, divine source energy. And we actually don't get a certificate. We get a card into this association. So again, it's the Association of Spiritual Healers of Alberta. You also get a lapel pin so that you are a recognized healer and you can go into the hospitals and, and work on patients at their request. Yes, yes. We don't just wander around healing people. <laughs> you have to ask for it. And, and then it, with any kind of healing, it is important that you ask. And I work with angels. I'm Deb from Deb's Den, D-E-B-B-Z-D-E-N.com. If you want to get a hold of me, my information is there. Uh, we are today live in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. We are coming to you from the studio downtown in Lethbridge, Alberta, and it's a beautiful snowy day. Well, actually, the snow has stopped, and it's now starting to just be a big slush ball. So <laughs> it's it's beautiful it's white and mud. In Alberta, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, but it's not cold. That's just that's just yay. So we're we're happy about that. And uh, so today we're just going to do a. Um, a touch on uh, what's happening at the Spiritualist Center here at 425 11th Street South Lethbridge, just down from Top Speeds and across from what's that? Uh, it's this the Fritzik. Is that the Fritzik Center right across the street? Oh, that's the Lethbridge Senior Center organization. It's yeah. across the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to find, and there's also meditations that happen on at 5:30 on Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays is $20, and it's Breathwork with Dana Rust. And on Thursdays, which is today, coming up at 5.30, is uh, Jade Sotar. 
and mm -hmm. she has yes, singing her, bowls. Yeah, her crystal singing bowls. Yes. They're beautiful. Yes, it was. It was great. Yeah. Was so nice. we were going to start with talking a little bit about um, what it is, the belief system of the spiritualist, and why is the spiritualist different than, well, regular church, um, basically, I think, is it's not a regular um, church thing. And no, it's a little bit... No, don't have a specific yeah. dogma. There are seven principles of spiritualism, yes. and this comes from the spiritualist church to... Church of Canada. Mm -hmm. So, number one, we believe in the infinite spirit, divine creator of all that is. So um, that's not really, like, that is really just saying that there's one God, and he is the power and, and creator of all things. And um, uh, for me, that's that's pretty easy to, to, to grab, I guess, because mm -hmm. that's what Secondly, it is. Secondly, unity and equality of all. And that is beautiful because it, that, that includes, it doesn't matter what race, color, gender, um, what you believe. And that it also includes the animal kingdom. I mean, to have respect for the animals, to have respect for, you know, absolutely every person. And there is no, when you're in spirit, there is no difference. We're all a spirit. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things about the Spiritualist Center is that, that they do that. Thirdly, is communication, guidance, and healing from spirit and angels. What do you think of that? <laughs> I'll, I'll, let, I'll, let you, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you explain that one. So, I mean, that's your own perception, and you come to that literally on your own. We can't guide you to. We can guide you, but you come to it on your own um, guidance from your spirit and angels, because mm -hmm. uh, we all have help. So, however that manifests for you. And the, the difference with the, the Spiritualist Center is that we actually provide evidence rather than just saying we have full faith that God exists. Well, I believe that the, spiritualism, the Spiritualist Church can prove that God exists because if God is light and energy and we do a healing on you and you receive a healing, I believe that proves that God is within you and light is within you. And it, that, you, that you have a spirit, because we are doing spiritual healing. And if you get healed, it was your spirit that was healed. Fourthly, the fourth principle is the continuous existence of the soul and its personality. And that we do demonstrate every Sunday at the center. Mm -hmm. We hold service uh, 7 p.m. every Sunday at 425 11th Street South. And there's always a medium present who will demonstrate the um, existence of the soul and its personality. So that means we, we progress in a way that provides proof of who the spirit is that's showing up. Exactly. And that, that is, you know, really emotional. It isn't just, you know, providing it can be. proof. But when, when a loved one comes in and they have a message for somebody, it's usually because that person needs to hear something. It's usually because, you know, there, there's something in their life that they need a message for, or, you know, there's some things were left unsaid, or something is wrong. And the spirit finds, uh, um, you know, a way to communicate a message to somebody, and it's usually very, very beautiful messages that come through. And when the evidence comes and the, 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 the medium connects, like when you when you feel the connection, I know you've been getting a few readings. I mean, people have been, um, you've had a few readings lately, and can you feel that energy when it comes to you? Do you know that that's for you? Oh, um, when I receive a message. When you receive oh, a okay. message, yeah. Um, sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes it's an inkling. You need more evidence, mm -hmm. and sometimes the um, the spirit that comes in will address an issue that's ongoing in your life now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's quite quite interesting. So they give evidence, like you know, how the person uh, walked, how they talked, how they felt, how what jobs they did. Um, oh, sometimes it's a physical evidence. thing. Sometimes it's uh, emotional, and a lot of times um, evidence of how they passed will come through their ailments, how they were sick, different things happened to them, and and uh, they, they they try to come through to make sure that you understand that. This is um, evidence of life after death. And I think that's what's beautiful about the Spiritualist Center. It's not like we're conjuring up spirits for fun. We are where we were coming um, and standing in the light and telling God if there's anybody who needs a message in this room. We're, we're here 
to be a conduit, a service, um, to, to not only to the humans, uh, but also to God. The fifth principle is the personal responsibility for the creation of our own reality through thought, word, and deed. Mm -hmm. So really, what's, you create your own world. Really, mm -hmm. and so if something is bothering you, and you let it bother you, and you dwell on that it bothers you, you are creating that energy, and you need to take responsibility that you're in control of how you feel, and when you realize that you would rather be happy, and you're going to control your feelings, so that you can, you know, of course, when sad things happen, you feel sad, mm -hmm. but you accept that, you know, I, I know I feel sad. But when it comes down to creating your own energy, you have to be responsible for yourself. You can't expect somebody to do the work for you. I mean, coming with, together with people to, to um, receive that uh, support that you need to maybe you know, make things different is really important. I think that you find if you've got problems going on and you find a support group, then you know, you can lighten your load and learn how to be happy. And I think that's what we're talking about, is that with, with the responsibility, and that's one of the, the, the principles of spiritualism, is to be responsible for your own, your own energy. Well, who else could be responsible unless you're allowing other people to be responsible? And what was that? And the, through um, word and... Thought, word, and deed. And deed. So doing good things also, right? Sure, that creates a, mm -hmm. a good energy. Mm -hmm. sending out and for yourself mm -hmm. so that's important that's that is one of the rules you know you have to be accept that you're you, you know one of the principles that we believe in is that you need to be responsible for yourself and and to treat other people kindly and to be good to other people and I can't say anything wrong with that right number six the sixth principle is actions create results according to natural law Okay, go for it. No, you go. <laughs> You're on a roll. Oh, well, that's okay. Because I've been studying. We have an exam coming next week. So I've been studying up on this ASHA stuff. So, um, well, this is actually spiritualism. Are the, the spiritualist church, which is not ASHA exactly, is it? No. It's, it's affiliated. It's affiliated together. But um, the healing part is uh, is a little different. But it's still um, with, this, with the Canadian spiritualism um, centers. So this one was, actions create results according to natural law. Okay, so natural law is the way things flow. Natural law is knowing that when you accept good into your life, then good can flow into your life. When you look at life as a miserable dark place, well, then you're creating a miserable dark place for yourself. Even though you might try to blame other people, it's really you who's digging up that energy and you who's holding on to it. But you can also choose to let that go. So for instance, water seems to be very liquidy and can move and doesn't seem to be very powerful. But yet, mount water can find its way through, through mountains and gravel and rocks. So you would say, um, that rocks are strong and hard and water is soft but for a natural flow water can overcome anything so softness which is love can really overcome any kind of hardness and that to me is the natural law of life is that that softness can really overcome um, hardness if you give it a chance or if it's 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 given the opportunity and I think what do you consider the natural law? Um, well, natural law to me pertains to, well, there's, there's a couple different aspects of natural law, such as there's physical laws and spiritual laws. So let's, let's take healing, mm -hmm. uh, energetic healing, uh, as a for instance. So you can, you can direct um, spiritual healing into somebody, and it will flow to where... Mm -hmm. It can do the most, the most good, the most change, if that's according to natural law. For instance, if somebody comes to you for healing and they're paralyzed and their, um, their nerves are severed, obviously that, that healing energy cannot 
uh, or most likely will not reconnect those nerves if they're severed. That's according to natural law. But it can address the pain that comes if you have pain and you're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. It can address that pain. So, Or even the spiritual part of it. You know, you can relieve this, and that's still healing. Even though you haven't healed the body, you've still healed the spirit part of your body to make you feel better. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah so that, I agree. That's, that's to me, is not natural. So there's a lot of aspects to it that I haven't fully comprehended yet. Um, you know, I'm a human. I'm still learning, so mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. I'm, not, I'm okay with not knowing absolutely everything and how it works. I'm assuming one day I'll get there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's our point. But I guess with the natural law, that also means that on this dimension, we are limited. You know, there, like you were saying, if somebody comes in who has something severed, we can't really, you know, make that grow back. We, we don't have that kind of an expectation because that would be against the, the you know, because we are working with the, being a conduit for the, uh, the, the angelic realm. So when the... The angelic realm is only limited to our natural laws. They cannot um, surpass our natural law. Right. But they can stimulate our permission. Be because we are spirit also, yeah. and we're getting a spiritual healing. They can, they can heal us with the spiritual part of things. So they might not be able to do so much with um, like a complete healing with the... the the, the physical part, but the things that come with the physical part, like the depression, the anxiety, the negative um, emotions, the you know all of the 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 mental and the spiritual part of it. Uh, Asha goes in, or with the Asha healing, the healer comes with with spirit and heals that. So I think that is that's that's what we we're talking about with natural law. We are within our boundaries. We we are doing healing within the boundaries of this dimension. And the seventh principle of spiritualism, spiritualism is the eternal progress open to every soul. Yeah, so that's a, that's a beautiful aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Meaning? Well, it's there for us if we so choose. It, we don't have to. Um, nobody's going to force us. Um, so it, it's up to us whether we want to progress as a soul or not. Yes. And everybody progresses at their own rate, really. And when when the time is right for you, you're going to get your awakening. And and when maybe I believe that a lot of times people do get sickness to awaken their ability to have to fight to learn how to heal themselves. And that, you know sometimes that horrible thing that happened is maybe a blessing in disguise because now you've opened up a whole new realm of healing for yourself and for your family and for your friends and uh, it's really everybody's on their own journey and that's one thing that we all respect at the at the center is that everybody has to be on their own journey and if you come in, say, on a Sunday night for a healing, it doesn't mean that we expect you to come to church every time. You can just come in and come for the healing. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no law that says that you have to keep coming, but, you know, of course we always want people to return. Um, it is a lot of fun on Sunday nights. <laughs> and it's not actually a church. It's no. a center. It's yeah, a center. We're a spiritual center. Mm -hmm. We don't have any specific religious dogmas that we follow. No, these are, this, this is what we follow. The following is, is that we treat everybody equally. That we have one, we have the divine light. Uh, we communicate with angels and with spirit to, to help the, the people sitting in, in the audience to, to receive healing through spirit, through their family, through their loved ones, whether it be their mother or their, you know, some people come in and have lost a child or they, you know, they just really don't feel that or they feel that they need some sort of message to to feel better and you don't have to have gone through a specific trauma in order to no. come it's you just open to anyone who wants a sense of belonging mm -hmm. to explore their spirituality spirituality yeah yeah like for the for instance like the circles that we hold that the circles that um that that are held uh from september basically till june <laughs> and they're held every week uh, two nights a week. And then again from January to September. Yeah. Or, no, January no. to May. Yeah. So we go, we do have a Christmas break. We start in September till December, have a Christmas break for a couple weeks, and then go from January to 
June usually, hey, about end of May, June. End of May, yeah. Yeah, yeah. depending on how the weather is, we have to make up for clauses, and sometimes that'll take us a little later than, than normal. Uh, but with, with, with the, if you are somebody who is, uh, feels that you might be an intuitive or have, mm -hmm. oh, interesting. I'll check that. <laughs> I just got a wish. <laughs> I just got a wish. <laughs> we'll put that on airplane mode. Um, but it's really important that if for you, if you're trying to develop on your own and you're looking for people to, to help you with that, maybe you read cards or maybe you're an empath and can't control um, your emotions when people are around you, you feel what they feel, then this this is the place to come to, to learn and to what be with like-minded. What talking about is our media mystic circles that yes. we that we have running. <laughs> so we start every January, we take in new people. We have beginners, intermediate, and advanced circles. So depending on where you are, you will go through an assessment um, at the orientation and again, they are held and begin in January of the year and September of the year. We take the summer months off. We do take a week or two off at Christmas. So just watch our uh, website for that information, and it's www.lethbridgespiritualistcenter.ca. Sorry, I'm just going to share this out right now here. Um, so continue on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to talk about what happens on Sunday night? Sure, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. give us a, because you're usually at the door there and greeting everybody, so. Yes, give on us a Sunday little tips evenings, on what to, what every to do Sunday there. at 7 p.m., again, the address is 425 11th Street South. Um, we begin at 7 p.m., everyone's welcome. We give everybody a song book. This is not a hymn book, it's a song book. And we sing uplifting songs. So it might be Trooper, it might be... Um, the Beatles, yeah. or what did we have, Van Morrison? And, uh, yeah, just anything that we circle feel of is life, really Elton John. uplifting. Um, so we typically have a speaker who will speak 15, 20 minutes on a spiritual topic, whether that's their path, how they came to be spiritual, their spiritual awakening, whatever it may be that they would like to share. Sharon Pellick had a beautiful talk about Edgar Casey a couple yeah. weeks ago. That was beautiful. Oh, was it Edgar? I missed the Edgar Casey one. I, I, it was the Sherlock Holmes. Well, she did. That who wrote it? Was it Edgar Casey who wrote Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Uh -oh, I don't know, but I know it was about Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I, I came in late, so I'm not The guy sure. who wrote Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, that's what I'm talking oh about. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Anyway, um, and then we have a couple of songs to raise the vibration. We always have a demonstration of mediumship. That usually runs a good 20 minutes. And we usually have two rounds, five minutes each, of the spiritual healing and that is the ASHA healers. So the people that come to the center and took the ASHA program last January, we do healings every single week, and you can come to that free of charge, get your healing, see what it's all about. And we sing another song, um, and that's about it. And then we always wrap up with refreshments and, and suites downstairs so if you have any questions or need information or would like to speak specifically to somebody you have that opportunity at the end of the evening after after our service downstairs like i said we have the mm -hmm. social and that's always interesting because um you know we're, we're all kind of healers i think a lot of the main people that are regulars are are people that are are looking to be healers and people who are looking to you know be the change they want to see in the world and I think that if we all um, you know try to up our our game I would think it's up our game Whoops. but uh, it's just developing yourself bringing out who you are developing yourself and being with like-minded people which is really really fun mm -hmm. so let me talk about the introduction to spiritual mm -hmm. healing workshop that we've come we've got coming up at, um, well, it's the end of January, beginning of February. Mm -hmm. February 1st, which is a Friday. And that is with Jane Fleming, and we're really excited to have Jane come down. 
February 1st, that's the Friday evening from 7 to 9 p.m., um, is the introduction. So um, it's all day Saturday and Sunday, February 2nd and 3rd from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Sunday you will be done a little bit early, 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have any previous healing um, experience to attend this. It's $150 for this two and a half day workshop. You get uh, your textbook, three follow-up one day workshops are included. Internship, that means like you get to come to the spiritual center and do the healing work if you so choose. Your practical? Yeah, the practical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, practical. Yeah. So that's Three full days, so well, not full days, there's Friday night, two and a half, yeah. And Saturday and Sunday, pretty full days. And then three other full day workshops, plus your handbook, and oodles of emails from Cynthia. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> and also um, just a, a reoccurring um, experience of, of, of healing in public. Mm -hmm. um, so you will get your, your public experience and be able to have, I, I believe it's 18 times that you're asked to come and appear. You have to do 18 healings. 18 yeah. healings. Um, well, that's actually 36 because you do two a night, right? Yeah. So, that's but it, you can do two at once. So, yeah. So there's actually 36 healings that you need. Uh, this does take time. And the, the energy that builds up. Um, being in the room with these people is just so beautiful. The full day works for a uh, for hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Like it's extremely. Oh normal. my gosh! Like where can you get that kind of education and uplifting and support for hundred and fifty dollars? So let me tell you a little bit about this spiritual healing workshop. Okay. While there's many modalities of energy healing, spiritual healing is the transfer of subtle healing energies from the divine source to the person in need. Since 1993, ASHA, so the Association of Spiritual Healers of Alberta, has been a non-denominational organization that offers certified training of spiritual healing. So Jane Fleming, our workshop leader, has been teaching ASHA workshops and has been president of the ASHA group for years. This workshop can be a one-time experience or opportunities to become certified through subsequent practice and training is optional. Mm -hmm. So again, like I said, it's $150. You can find all the details and information and registration form on our website, which again is www.lethbridgespiritualistcenter.ca or look for us on Facebook, Lethbridge Spiritualist. Is there also a phone number there? No, there's not. You can email us at lethbridgespiritualist dot, or at gmail.com. Again, that's lethbridgespiritualist at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. leave a link in the show afterwards. We'll put a link onto the show so that we, you, you will be able to contact us. Or mm -hmm. Cynthia, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> If I'm the admin, I do get yeah. the emails and, and yeah, give out go the to emails our emails and, or yes. go to our website. So if you're getting trying to get a hold of somebody, it will probably be Cynthia <laughs> that answers your calls. And then we have something else exciting coming up, Deb, on February 23rd. That's mm -hmm. a Saturday. Okay. This is called our Spirit Festival, mm -hmm. and it is a fundraiser for the Lethbridge Spiritual Center. We're having a full-day workshop from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., um, That's full day. It is a full day. Mm -hmm. And actually, sorry, I said that wrong. It's not a workshop. There are several different workshops running all day. Each workshop will be two hours. And so we have two, four, six, seven different workshops running that day. So how this is going to work, again, that go to our exciting. Facebook, go to our website. You can email me. We'll get out the information. It's not fully loaded yet. Um, as the the extreme details are still being ironed out, but mm -hmm. here's the rough outline. From 9 to 11 a.m., we're going to run two workshops. Then there will be two workshops running from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So you get to pick which workshop you want to do. So there's two running at 9, two running at 11. We're going to take a half-hour break for lunch between 1 and 1.30. Then from 1.30 to 3.30, we'll have two workshops. Then from 3.30 to 5.30, we have the pièce de résistance. 
Mm. Oh, no, I moved her. Sorry, my error. Kylie Dawn, our headliner, she's from 1.30 to 3.30, and she's going to have the only workshop running between 1.30 and 3.30. Hers is trance dance. Oh. Uh Uh-huh. And it's going to be something extremely exciting. She used to actually live here in Lethbridge, Mm -hmm. and she used to facilitate these years ago. Now she's she's got her own facility in Calgary, so she facilitates her own. She does... Mm -hmm. um, Breath work, trance dance, <laughs> ecstatic dance, yeah. Okay, what is trance dance? I, I mean, well, I'm, when I'm dancing, I get into my own little headspace and do my own little thing, and so this the whole is world a guided seems to be not there. Dance, and so it's from what I understand, she leads you through movements and breath work to move energy. Mm. Now. Don't ask me more than that, because I don't know. Well, I've so, taken Dana's breath work, and she's going to be there too, right? Um, just Oh, but on. yeah, but I mean, that just, breath work is amazing. Okay, just a second. So, Kylie Dawn's workshop is $30. Mm-hmm. Um, every other workshop is $20, except for we do have special guests, Sachi Gabriel Gold, who will be doing Kundalini Yoga from 3.30 to 5.30, and at the same time as her mm-hmm. is... Dana Russ, she's doing dream work, which is $20. From 9 to 11 a.m., we have Roger Metz doing intuition. Uh, myself, I'll be doing a workshop, and that's um, pendulum work. Both of those are $20. From 11 to 1, you can pick from energetic healing re- relationships with Katherine Jensen, or William Pellick will be presenting a workshop called Soul Work. Again, those two workshops are 20. Um, And like I said, Dana Rust and Sachi Gabriel Gold, um, Dana's is 20, Sachi's is 25. Again, those are from 3.30 to 5.30. Kylie Dawn's trance dance is 30 from 1.30 to 3.30. So if you don't understand what I've just said. Yeah, let's start at (laughs) one place and then go. You can just look at the website or the Facebook and it will all be there in detail. Again, these workshops are going to run all day, two at the same time, so you get to pick your workshop, A or B, and um, you just pay for the workshops that you're attending. So it's an economical day. The most you're going to pay for that entire day is $95. Um, Depending on what you choose, it might be as, as little as um, 90, like it just depends on what you want to attend. You pay for the workshop that you want to attend. So if you want to come to one, just pay for one. If you want to be at a workshop at every session of the day, yeah, you pick your workshops, what you are interested in. So it's going to be a fascinating, fun, exciting Powerful. Day. Yeah. Powerful. Powerful day. Yeah. So um, who are our guests again? For, so who's doing intuition? Uh, intuition is Roger Metz, myself, Cynthia Solomons. I'm doing pendulum work. Catherine Jensen is doing energetic healing and relationships. William Pellick is doing soul work. Kylie Dawn is coming down from Calgary to be with us, leading her trance dance. We have Dana Russ doing uh, dream work. Sachi Gabriel Gold is doing kundalini yoga. So an absolutely fascinating day. Yeah, that sounds like... Lots to learn. Yeah, that sounds like a whole weekend, actually. It does. (laughs) It sounds like a whole weekend. No wonder it's going from from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Saturday, February 23rd. And that will be at the Spiritualist Center again, 425 11th Street South. Mm -hmm. That just sounds like a real fun day. I know. I'm really excited about that one. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm Mm-hmm. So um, there will be more information, and we will leave a link to that on the show also. And you can remember to look that up at the spiritualistcenter.ca, is it? Lethbridge Spiritualist Center, yeah. Is it .ca? .ca. Okay, good. And I just want to remind you again that we are here live in Lethbridge, Alberta, on Jess TV, JessFM.ca, on the Internet, if you like to see our website and catch all of our bloopers. Um, <laughs> and, oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's live. We also have movies running on Jess TV and Jess FM. We have movies that are running when um, we don't have our shows. And if you like the radio, we do have a radio station also that is a free app. 
and it is on jessfm.ca or is the the app is called jessfm and you can get that on android or apple and that is free and that broadcasts right now we have about 2.5 million um, subscribers with that 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 outlet so if uh, that works for you. There's all different kinds of ways. We are usually on YouTube and we will be again soon. Um, but right now, we're just going onto our website and onto Facebook. So please share and like. And if you have some questions, please just uh, write in the shows. I do check back on my shows for about a week until I have my next guest on. <laughs> I'm hoping that Jane will come in next week, actually. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking my show, I might run it on Friday if Jane comes in early enough. Okay. If we can find out what she's up to if, if that works for her if not I'll find something else Sharon's supposed to come in next week so Lovely. yeah Sharon Pellick Sharon Pellick should Lovely. be in next week and oh, she's, she's so amazing awesome. yeah. yeah yes she's a science instructor at the university um, so she comes to the spiritualist center with facts and you know or, like listening to her talks are about knowing that that there's proof and there's evidence. You can go to church and you can have faith and that's beautiful. But when you can go to a center and see the results and see the evidence, that to me is more assuring than, you know, God is God is real and that, that this is a good thing. So, um, we're, we're uh, not doing too bad here for time. We're getting close to, is there some other things? What else do we have coming up? Oh, let me think. Oh, gosh. We have Chris Page coming. Oh, yes, in April. Yeah, in April. Chris Page is coming, and he... From he, the UK. From the United Kingdom. He's he been on my show last, before. Yeah. yeah, he was here last April, and he is going to return. Mm -hmm. And he will be doing a workshop on trance healing. So watch out for that information, again, on our website mm -hmm. or Facebook. That is some um, pretty uh, deep stuff when we're talking trance healing is um, because they're really working with spirit and then and really looking at your spirit and, and bringing out your energy. And I really think that that's what the whole thing is about is finding who you are and, and, and bringing out your, your energy. I do believe that everybody on the planet eventually is going to wake up to find their spirit energy and, and break out of this veil that we've been put under. <laughs> I think that is our destiny. I think it is our destiny to 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 raise our vibration and I do believe in even, you know, most religions do believe that, you know, the point of being a good person is to raise your vibration to be more um, in a, at a higher vibration. And Chris's workshop is absolutely fascinating because it's experiential. There's no there's no textbook. There's um, yeah, there's there's not a lot of. Um, it's amazing still though. Like, it's experiential and affordable. So absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Chris is an amazing person. Um, like we, he's uh, there there are there's not too much on the um on the YouTube um, on YouTube about it. Uh, there's my show <laughs> where I did interview him last year when he came in, and I'm hoping that he'll come back again this year. So I'm looking forward to that also. But that's that's going to be interesting also. Um, so we have church. Or not church, sorry. <laughs> Starting on Sundays. Sundays at 7. Come service. on down. We do call it a service. We're not church. We're a spiritual center. Come down and sing so some tunes. we do tunes. conduct a service every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we offer healings, mediumship, uh, songs. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a, a get-together. So even if you're skeptic and don't believe in this, come check it out. See if you what you get out of it. You might, you know, you might, you might be surprised that... Uh, you can feel that energy coming through you when when somebody behind you is getting a message. I know if I'm I don't like to sit too close to the front sometimes because if people behind me are getting messages, I can feel that energy coming through and I can feel the emotional attachment that that the the spirit from rather it be their mother or brother or cousin that that, that has come to talk to them that that energy is just so warm and loving and, and compassionate. It's just such a an experience to realize, oh my gosh, that energy is going right by me. It must be behind me. Mm -hmm. So again, please look for our um, web page, www.lethbridgespiritualistcenter.ca. Mm -hmm. And again, look for us on Facebook, Lethbridge Spiritualist Center, and just have a browse and see what piques your interest. And I'd also want to throw in, uh, next weekend on the 
first, I will be, is next week a Friday the first? Oh, yes. Okay, then Saturday. It's Saturday. Next Saturday, I will be at the exhibition grounds for the Handmade Market, Lethbridge's Handmade Market. This is a market that's going to run six times this year, and this market's focus is love. And we give away about two, three thousand dollars worth of prizes. There's usually three thousand people that come through the door from nine to four. Uh, it's a, a busy place. There's a whole pile of new vendors. We're running between 175 and 200 vendors. It's the most amazing shopping mall in Lethbridge running <laughs> six days a year. <laughs> but it is, uh, it's been growing. I've been part of this market for quite a few years. Deb's Den will be there if you're interested in getting a card reading. I do angel healing with uh, crystals and angels and, um, and cord cutting healings. I also uh, have a share, or it's a little bit um, cheaper. <laughs> That's where I do my sale if somebody wants to buy in advance on um, a sitting with me uh, for an hour to, to have an hour-long healing. So that's kind of uh, fun. And, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's, it's really fun at the market. You can find all kinds of handmade stuff, everything from honey to, to soaps to signs to, to your favorite mugs. If you're, if you're looking for a gift for Valentine's Day and you want it to be special, have it handmade and have it a one-of-a-kind um, product that, that they have at the handmade market. And I'm sure there's lots of advertising around, and uh, I'll be sharing a link with that on Instagram. I'm Deb Sten on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, email, um, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, and on YouTube. I'm also Deb Sten on YouTube. I knew there was five of them there. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for me, I should be easy to find. I'm Deb Sten, D-E-B-B-Z. -E com. That is my website. Oh, six. <laughs> Got that covered. How about you? Tell us where you, they can get a hold of you before we go into meditation. Um, and, th and if they're looking for a healing, you are a Reiki healer? I do Reiki as one of my yeah. modalities, yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a website. I'm not on, out there promoting myself. Yeah. So just look for me on Facebook, Cynthia Solomon, or at the center. Mm -hmm. I'm there every Sunday. <laughs> and, yeah, that's fun. I'm from out of town, so I, I don't go every Sunday, but I, I do try to go in as much as possible because it's a lot of fun having a good song and a sing. And sometimes it's – but they always play music that we sing along, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, the best part is, is meeting people, is meeting like-minded people, people who are looking for something else in, the, in their life, people who are looking for healing. And connection people who are, you know, maybe even just lonely or maybe you just wanted some cookies at the end. I don't know. Maybe you just need a cookie and tea and somebody to talk to. Uh, we have that every Sunday night, and it's, it's, a, it's a good time. Uh, Cynthia picks up some great great sweets for us. Sharon does that. Oh, That's does she? Oh, my gosh. She, she's got great taste. <laughs> she does. <laughs> yeah. So, and there's always some good tea there and, and great conversation and, and really a friendly place to come if you're, if you're lonely at all. Just do come in and, and receive a free healing at least. And uh, just be open if you're skeptical or just looking for some, some healing in your life mm -hmm. or even just some new friends. Maybe, you, maybe your old friends aren't working for you anymore and you need <laughs> some new friends. <laughs> yeah, like-minded. Yeah. That's the key you, point. Yeah, you got to look for people who treat you good. You know, if, if people aren't treating you nice, then you need to find some place where you can be, where people treat you kind. Mm -hmm. it raises your vibration. That helps for healing. And actually, that's one of the things that we were, I was reading um, with um, the, the spiritualist healing is that um, in order to receive the healing, you need, the, the first thing that the, the Asha healing will do is work on your soul and removing the, the darkness from your soul. Before it can do physical healing, it has to do spiritual healing. And that proves that God's real to me because you're getting a spiritual healing and you're getting your, the next day you'll wake up maybe feeling just a little bit better. You know, you'll wake up feeling a little less stress, a little less anxiety. And, you know, and you just realize that, you know, maybe that five-minute treatment made a difference in your life. And that's what we're there for, make a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And there is a difference between doubt and resistance mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where people are set that, you know, this is it for me. I'm hurt, and that's the way it is. And, you know, that is, you know, in some cases, if you, somebody's got something amputated, that's a good point. 
but <laughs> you know we're not there to grow limbs, but we are there to heal the the pain from it and the stress from it. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so let your feelings be your guide. Mm-hmm. And um, and also remember to if you're to to think positive and to have a positive vibration going on within you. And when you have that positive energy and you you um, share that with other people, it makes you feel better and it makes them feel better. And if you're a negative person and you have negative energy, then that isn't going to um, help anybody. Sadly, your negative energy isn't helping you. <laughs> and um, that's why that's why I'm here, and that's what Deb's Den is about. Also, Deb's Den is about helping you understand to that you don't have to stay in a negative. Place. You can you can be your own savior and uh, make the move. Come out on Sunday night or a Thursday or a Monday at uh, 5:30 and um, just start by uh, making your life better. Doing it yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't rely on anybody to make you happy. You have to do it yourself. So uh, I think we're getting close to our, our time is just about up. And uh, Cynthia has a, agreed that she is going to lead us in a, a meditation today. So do we want to get with that? Do you want to start? Were we ready to do meditation? Um, I think so. I think we've covered everything. We'll check and make sure we, we, we know if there's anything else you'd like to add. We can also add that at the end again, like any phone numbers or anything. I always we don't like to have do a that. phone number. Okay. We do have a website, and we do have email and Facebook. So... That's the three ways that they can get a hold of us. Mm. Okay, so Facebook, website, and come to church. No, the, the center, sorry, not church, center. 425 11th Street South. Just down from Topps Pizza. Everybody knows Topps Pizza. It's been here forever. Just down from Topps Pizza, a little white church there. It is, It is. what does the, the sign on, say on the church? It does say the Community of Christ Church, but okay. we rent their space and we're a center. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we don't have a specific religious dogma. Yeah. So all, anybody's welcome. All religions, all colors, any kind of person, if you want to come in through the door. Atheists, you're welcome yeah, to. Anybody. We, we don't judge. We're there to, to, to raise the vibration. And as long as you're there and ready to... Uh, to experience something exciting, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that um, that full day workshop, the Spirit Festival on February twenty third, it's all spirit related. So the pendulum work, the yoga, the trance dance, it's all got to do with your spiritual development. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's good. Um, all right, are we ready for? Are we ready? Are we getting time? We have meditation coming up soon, so <laughs> we got meditation in 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you do the meditation. You don't want to do meditation? No. All right, I'll do meditation. And uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for those who have tuned in and, and are, are watching with us right now. And for those people who are going to watch later um, and, and catch the show, we do share the show out on, in a few different um, areas. And uh, I appreciate absolutely every single one of you that tune in and are tuned in today. I absolutely um, send out my gratitude to you, and I uh, want to know that I want you to know that when I do the meditation, it is m- my intention that every person that is listening receives some sort of a healing, some sort of an uplifting. So we'll just uh, I want you just to sit back and relax. We're just going to do a couple minute meditation here. So. Whew kind of wish I would have prepared something, but I'm just going to let it flow. I'm just, I'm just going to take a deep breath in, and everybody, take a deep breath in, and just realize your body, all parts of your body. I want you to realize your feet. When your feet are on the ground, or are your feet bare feet? Can you feel your feet? And I just want you to go up and realize you have your ankles, and your legs, and your calves. Moving up your calves, you have your knees, and as we go up, we're bringing energy up from the earth now. I'm just going to have like bioenergy come up from the whole entire planet, and we're just going to pull that energy up. And as you're listening, this energy is going to come to you, and it's going to start to ground your energy. So we're starting with your feet, moving up through your ankles, and now your calves and your knees, and going up your thighs, and going into your buttocks, and going through into your root chakra. 
And as you see this energy coming up from the ground, it's pulling your body in, and just healing all of the areas in your body that are maybe vibrating differently and, and maybe have some sort of trauma experience connected to them and we're removing that energy. So as we come up onto the, the base of the spine, we're seeing a red dot. And this dot is now spinning. We're going to go counterclockwise for three turns. And then we're going to move that symbol of a little white light going in a little circle fan. And then we're going to start turning the other way, going clockwise. And as we do this, we're starting up your root chakra and just letting the energy, knowing that you are safe knowing that you have a roof over your head, knowing that you have food in the house and, and you're, you're safe and protected. And we really are here in Canada blessed. So we're just going to let that energy flow through your body and knowing that your whole body and everything is really, truly okay. Even if you are having fit home um, problems, really, you are okay. And there, it is okay. And things will get better. So we're letting that energy now flow through your whole body, turning your whole entire body red. And as that red goes out, we're going to now bring that red back in and continue spinning that red root chakra. And as it's going in perfect sync, we're moving up now into your orange sacral chakra. Now, every single cell in your body is going to be orange. I want you to imagine going to the fridge and opening up the fridge and finding this great big beautiful orange and just opening it up and seeing the juice squirt out of the orange and taking a big bite of the orange and every little cell in your body as that orange goes down into your body is going to awaken your creativity it's going to awaken your sexual drive it's going to awaken your hopes and release the fears so again we're going to go backwards three times counterclockwise with your light and remove anything that's bothering you from your sacral energy. Just pulling that out now. Any addictions that aren't serving you, releasing that energy. Just pulling it out right now. Letting, I've got archangels there. They can simultaneously go all over the world at the same time. So each person that's listening, the angel will be there for you at that moment. Removing the negative energy, pulling it out your back, your chakras. Now that that is spinning, now we're going to go forward clockwise and have that orange bright fan spinning, bringing in that positive energy for you. Now balanced with the red and the orange, we move up into your solar plex energy. And as we come with that, I want you to just be at the beach, at the most beautiful noontime sunrise and just feel the heat coming down on your body and as this heat comes down as you're sitting on this beautiful beach feel the sun coming down and as your body starts to warm and you can feel your skin tingling as the heat penetrates your skin feel that warmth of being on the beach and the comfort and hear the ocean waves coming up with you and as this happens, I want you to imagine them ocean waves coming up and just removing any negative energy off of your body. As the ocean wave comes in, it gathers up anything that has to do with your social fears, any anxieties that you have, anything that anybody's ever caused you any grief. Then put that energy into the water. And as it, that energy comes up, it jumps from your body into the water and washes away to sea. So everything that's ever bothered you in your life that has to do with your friends and social activities, it's all being washed away and taken away. I want you to just feel that exit of energy. And as that energy exits, we're going to now start spinning your, your chakra in the clockwise. So you're now balancing with the red, the orange, and the yellow going forward. And as your yellow chakra spins, you're pulling up all of the light energy and bringing that energy in for you, giving you confidence and, and belief in yourself and releasing all negative thinking of yourself because you don't need it. It's not good for you. It's not healthy to think negative. It's not healthy to, to let other people's opinions and thoughts affect who you are. You're here to be you. And if you're not you, who will be you? So it is so important to stimulate that energy of your own soul. This is your soul light energy now. Working into your heart energy. I just want you to see this beautiful green meadow. 
It's the most beautiful meadow with a river. And we're over here, we're here, coming here to clean your heart energy. So I want you to just walk through the green grass and your bare feet, grounding your body, letting that energy flow now from the earth to your body, removing all negative hurt in your heart. Life is not always easy. And at some points in our life, we have heartache. And that is just part of the heartbeat. Some days are up and some days are down. And with that energy, we realize that we're alive, that, that we live. Even, even pain makes us alive. It makes us feel. So any kind of negative energy that you're feeling in your heart, whether it be from the loss of a loved one or from somebody breaking your heart, maybe somebody said something to you that hurt you and it really offended you. Maybe you said something to somebody and you feel sorry for it and you're upset too. Any kind of negative energy within your heart now, we're just going to let that energy flow. I want you to, we're going to pull that energy now back and as it's backwards, I want you to imagine you're sitting right on the most beautiful beautiful forest along this meadow there, there's a meadow that leads up to a forest and there's a beautiful river sitting there and when you sit at the river I want you to put your feet in the water and as your feet are in the water I want the heart energy and all the stuff that's ever happened to your heart and that negative energy uh, the lady that hurt you or the man that hurt you or anybody who broke your heart we're just gonna let that energy flow through our body. As it takes one last loop around our soul and around our body, we're just going to let it go. And it's going to go into the water. And as soon as that negative energy hits the water, it's going to turn into beautiful sparkles. So now all of that negative and hurt is going to feed the planet with positive energy because all energy is energy. So now we're turning that heart chakra forward, balancing it with the red, the what the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, now spinning in perfect sync, moving into your throat chakra. Now we're going into this area where anything that you have ever said or thought that is hurting you, anything that, that you've heard on TV that isn't feeling good, anything that you've felt that you've said that, that didn't resonate with you and even if at the moment you were talking in a heated manner it's okay we forgive everyone for everything at this point I want you to realize that there is a beautiful white light above you and this white light is is opening up a spot of healing from the sky from God and bringing that light in is going to be a silver rain and we're just going to wash away all the stuff that's not serving you now Cutting all the cords off your back. If you've ever held anything somebody said to you as a rock and put it in your backpack on your back today, we're taking that backpack off and giving it over to the angels and letting them take care of all of your worries and, and letting you be just you again. So I want you to take a deep breath. A few of those. And as you exhale, I want you to just think in your mind, I forgive everyone for everything. And just relax into that feeling. And just know that you no longer are going to be the vessel for angry people and angry thoughts and angry words. And with that energy, we're going to just keep you going. And we're going to take a deep breath again. And we're going to move into your third eye energy. As that silver rain is still pouring down on you, now we're going into your mind. And I just want you to see the most beautiful cobalt blue. Just a dark royal blue color flexing within your mind's eye. And as the light shines in your bright, bright shine going on in your mind and the little flecks of light are going on in there, we're going to blow out all that negative thinking that's not serving you. I'm just asking the angels to come to you right now and just remove that negative thinking. We're not removing the the memories, we're removing the emotional pain that you allow when somebody said something to you and you let that thought run through your head, we're just going to remove it and let it go. Now we're filling, we're going to just have that, we're going to, as we're reversing, now we're going to go clockwise, so we now have the red, the yellow, the, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the light blue, 
the dark blue, and now working up into the purple above your head, into your crown chakra. This is the access to your thinking, the access to your soul. And we're just going to bright that light out now that we've had that beautiful silver rain wash away all of the pain and sadness and the things that don't serve us. We're now going to open up that beautiful purple light and put that into every single cell. I'm just going to have that purple flame light and go into every single cell in your body. Igniting your fighter T cells if you're sick. Igniting love energy in your heart if you're sad. Igniting new creativity in your life if you're feeling that things are just not going your way. Maybe help you to find different ways and lead you. And I just want you to realize that your angels are with you always. I just want you to take a deep breath now. I'm going to have Archangel Raphael come in and just give you a hug and hold that healing in. Just hold that balance, that chakra balance in with you now and have everything balancing in order. Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, and right on top is the most beautiful purple that's going to surround your whole body, removing addictions, removing sickness and sadness. And I'm just going to say thank you now for listening, and thank you for paying attention for the last few minutes if you did, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining in on Deb's Den. Cynthia, is there anything you'd like to say before we say goodbye? Thanks for having me, Deb. You're welcome, and we'll have you back again soon. Thanks for listening, everybody, and um, thanks for, for tuning in and watching this episode of Deb's Den. Next week we will be back, and I will have Sharon Pellick with me, um, and if everything goes well. I was supposed to have Trevor Stewart on today, but um, he's had a family emergency, so it's just awesome that, Cynthia, you came in and saved the day today. And uh, Trevor, just sending out um, a big hug to you and your family, and I, I hope everything goes well for you all. And uh, we'll have Trevor coming back in in, in February, and he's going to be talking about Mount Kilimanjaro and uh, climbing Mount Everest, and that's going to be fun too. So thanks for coming in again, and I'm Deb from Deb's Den, and uh, have a great day. And uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs>